guys! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I make my overnight oats. I recently shared this video um, on my Instagram stories and I got a slew of messages saying, oh my gosh, how do you get it so thick? Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Yada, yada, yada. And today I'm going to show you how to make them. So let's just get into it. Okay, so what you need, I have these jars that I just got at Target. They are um, 16 ounces mason jars. I think this pack of four was like five or six dollars. So kind of a bargain and reusable, we love that. You need a large mixing bowl, a whisk, a cup and a half of rolled oats. I'll put a photo of my favorite rolled oats. I don't currently have the packaging from them because I put them in canister but they are my favorite I can get them on Thrive Market and my local Publix actually has them too but um, yes the extra thick Bob's Red Mill oats are my favorite need hemp seeds one can of full-fat coconut milk some maple syrup and salt as well as chia seeds. Okay, so in the bowl I have a cup and a half of oats. We need a quarter cup of hemp seeds. An eighth of a cup or two tablespoons of chia seeds. A nice generous pinch of salt. and one can of coconut milk. Now the thing about coconut milk is that um, full fat coconut milk most of the time has a lot of liquid on the bottom and then coconut cream on top. So you really have to shake it like really hard. Like I'll probably sit here for a good minute shaking my can of coconut milk. And even then still when I open it up there might be some like lumps of coconut cream, which is why we're gonna mix it with a whisk to try to break those up a little bit. But yes, always shake your canned coconut milk very well. Ooh, that one's super smooth today. Now we're gonna do just under a quarter cup of maple syrup. And a third of a cup of water and mix it up. So this is like the base of the overnight oats. These plain by themselves, super good. What would also be good is if you had some like almonds or shredded coconut or dried fruit or you could put some cinnamon in there, you could put vanilla in there. Anything honestly would be really good. I really like them plain, just how they are like I just made them, but um, I do plan on topping them with some fresh blueberries in the morning. So now what I need to do is just scoop them into my little jars and put them in the fridge until tomorrow morning. Okay, so here we are. These are all set and ready to go into the fridge. So I'm gonna do that and I will see you in the morning.
if you wanted to make this for the whole week, then I would suggest actually doubling the recipe and either having like bigger servings in these jars or you don't have to put them in jars at all. You could just put them in like a big food container with a lid or just keep them in a bowl with like a plate on top or plastic wrap or something and like scoop as you go. But yeah, this is my little simple but delicious also, this is silly and probably just a me thing, but there is something about food in a jar. Something about it just makes me so happy. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you subscribe and I will see you on my next one.